Looks like Alibaba is back again with another big drop. And what I mean by saying a big drop is that they released 13 new models in various sizes and meant for various use cases like mathematics, coding, as well as general purpose use cases. Now, allow me to introduce the series Quen 2.5. A series that beat Llama 405 billion parameters on the live bench AI benchmark, which marks it the best open source model in the world, overtaking Meta. They released three categories of models in the Quen 2.5 series. The first category is the base model, ranging from 5. 0.5 billion parameters all the way up to 72 billion parameters in terms of the model size. The second category is the Quen 2.5 coder model, which has three model sizes, the 1.5, 7, and 32 billion parameter models. Lastly, you have the Quen 2.5 math models, which come in the three same sizes as the coding models. Something interesting I noted when I started reading the blog post is that all of their open source models except for the 3 billion and the 72 billion variants are licensed under Apache 2.0. So at the moment, the 3 billion and the 72 billion variants for the Quen 2.5 base, the coder, and the mathematics is not available, which is kind of unfortunate. But you can find the rest of the models uh, in, as well as the different license files in the respective hug face models you can actually access it on hugging face spaces at the moment you can try out all of these different models the math models as well as the coder models which i'll leave a link to in the description below we're actually going to be testing this out in a couple of seconds and you can actually start installing this locally with lm studio to do so it's very simple i have a tutorial on lm studio where i showcase how you can install any model locally and I'm going to leave that link in the description below. What you want to do is simply open up LM Studio, just search up Quen 2.5 and click enter. You're going to be able to find all the new models in different quant sizes. You can just simply click on the download that is available. You can simply download it, go over to the AI chat tab, select the model that you just downloaded, and you're going to be able to easily interact with it within this chat. Something cool to note is that the Quen 2.5 models are trained on 18 trillion tokens. This is offering improved knowledge and skills in coding, math, and instruction following, while supporting up to 228k tokens over 29 languages, which is kind of great. It specializes with different versions like the Quen 2.5 coder and the math models. They're both optimized for code and math using advanced reasoning techniques like chain of thought. You have program of thought as well as tool integrated reasoning so this way it's going to be able to score really really large benchmarks in comparison to many of the other larger models in terms of performance the 72 billion parameter model is the best outperforming open source model and it even outpaces the llama 3.1 405 billion parameter model as well as the 70 billion parameter model it even beats mistral large and the great thing is that it is close up to even GPT-4 Omni in many benchmarks. Obviously it's not beating it, but it comes close in most cases, which is really great to see. And this is why I really wanted to showcase the Coin 2.5 series, because it's definitely the best open source model. And I know there might be certain concerns where it's coming out of China, and a lot of people do have concerns because of data privacy. And that is one thing that many people refrain from actually using this model which is kind of unfortunate. Something great to note is that small language models, which are known as SLIMs, are actually closing the gap with larger models. And this was something that was noted in their blog post. They specifically were talking about the Quen 2.5 3 billion parameter model, which was achieving impressive results despite being a smaller size model, scoring above the 65 MMLU benchmark. Now, this shows that they have been working on key updates in Quen 2.5, including support for general generating up to 8k tokens, improving handling of structured data, better JSON output generation, and even enhanced role playing with diverse prompts. And this is just great to see that a small model like this can even be uh, comparable to larger size models. Now, before we get started, I definitely recommend that you take a look at the Patreon page so that you can access the new subscriptions that we'll be releasing this week. Now, 
In regards to the coding model they released under the Quen 2.5 series, it's something that is designed for coding tasks like debugging and providing code suggestions like any other coding based model would. It offers strong performance despite its smaller size and it is doing quite well in comparison to many of these other well known models like DeepSeek Coder, 33 billion Instruct as well as the older DeepSeek models, not in comparison to the new one that just released. This is something that is showcasing that it is capable of outperforming many larger models across various programming languages making it an excellent choice for coding and being your coding assistant now at the moment they're working on releasing the 32 billion parameter coding based model but they have released the 7 billion parameter base model which does quite well in comparison to other smaller coding based models especially against star coder as well as ds coder it's not there where it can basically outpace a deep seat coder yet but it's definitely something that you should keep an eye out for i will say that the quen 2.5 coder instruct model excels quite well in 40 different programming languages in code reasoning tasks showing strong results in benchmarks and having the ability to perform well in math tasks now this highlights its dual expertise in coding as well as in mathematics while scoring high scores for its uh, model size and this is something that is available at the moment for the apache 2.0 license but like i said it's not going to be released for the 32 billion at the moment they're still preparing the 32 billion version for the quen 2.5 coding series models and they're aiming to focus on challenging higher models such as the proprietary models so this is something that i'm definitely keeping an eye out for so now we're going to be testing the Quen 2.5 72 billion parameter model on Hugging Face Spaces. We're going to be testing it on various categories such as coding, math, logic, and such forth. So let's first start off with the first one. Write a Python function that takes a list of integers and returns the sum of all even numbers in a list. The reason why is because we're going to be testing the model's coding capabilities, specifically its ability to write Python functions. So let's see if it's going to be able to do this. And this is correct. It was able to write this Python function for me where it built in functions like the sum brackets and the list comprehensions. And this, in my opinion, also gives you an example as well as an explanation. So this is definitely a pass in my books. The second prompt is going to assess the model's mathematical reasoning, where I told it to solve the following problem. If a train travels at 60 miles per hour for 2.5 hours, then increases its speed to 75 miles per hour for the next 1.5 hours, what is the total distance traveled? So let's see how well the model does in solving this problem right away i can tell this is correct because it focused on two of the segments right away and it calculated the correct distance which is 262.5 miles and we can see that it applied the right formula which was for distance equaling speed times time and we were able to get the correct answer so in this case this was a pass next up we're gonna have it generate a svg code for a simple butterfly shape and in this case it's going to showcase its creativity as well as the model's coding capabilities as it involves writing svg code a form of markup to generate recognizable shapes in this case a butterfly so let's see if it's capable of doing this i'm going to be able to copy the code and see how it basically looks let's see if it's a pass or a fail so let's copy the code and let's go over to an svg viewer paste it in and there you go this does not look like a butterfly so in this case we're going to be failing this the next test is to design an algorithm to optimize the layout of a warehouse and in this case it's going to focus on a high level approach that could involve data structures key algorithms as well as trade-offs if it's going to be able to describe the algorithm design and the optimization strategies including the data structure and trade-offs i will deem this to be a success so let's see if it does and so far it does look like it is breaking down the problem it focused on the product inventory for the data structure itself it's focusing on the key algorithm and let's see if it will focus on the trade-offs so so far it is definitely a great view and it did start focusing on the trade-offs so in my opinion this is definitely a pass obviously i didn't read through any of the things but we can see that it was able to focus on a high level approach which is definitely deemed to succeed because it was able to design the algorithm to design a better warehouse layout the next prompt is to create a python implementation of the game of life so let's see if it's able to code it out 
in this case for testing the model's coding abilities in a more complex problem solving area. So I had generated the code and I pasted it into VS Code and it doesn't seem to be working. So in this case, it is definitely a fail. The next test is going to focus on testing the model's logical reasoning and problem solving, particularly in dealing with constraints and strategies to achieve a specific goal. So in this case, the answer is going to be a four step process and let's see if it's capable of doing this. And it looks like it was capable of getting the right answer. It actually used a couple more steps, but it's fine. It was able to get the answer, which is exactly leaving four gallons in a five gallon jug. Next up, we're going to be giving the model the ability to answer an empathetic response for a friend. So in this case, I want to see how well the model can generate empathetic and supportive responses to see and understand if it's if it has any sort of emotional context or social interactions. And right off the bat, it does look like it is definitely capable of responding in a social manner as well as an emotional context. And in this case, it's definitely a pass in my books. Next up, we have the ability to con uh, have the ability to assess the model on ethical consideration. So this is a prompt which states a self-driving car must choose between hitting a group of pedestrians or serving and likely killing its single pass passenger. What ethical considerations are involved in programming such a decision? So let's send this response in and see what it's capable of getting. In this case, we're looking for three different things such as individual rights, responsibility, as well as choosing the action that minimizes overall harm. We're going to see how well it is able to generate an ethical reasoning. And it definitely looks like a pass because it was able to focus on utilitarianism, it focused on individual rights as well as responsibility and blame. So this is definitely deemed a pass. Next up, we have the prompt to write a short story. So this is where it's going to focus on writing a short story in a historical context. And we're going to have it see if it's going to be capable of creatively writing and the ability to understand the narrative structure. And there you go, it was capable of creating a narrative structure, it was able to write the story in 150 words, and it is definitely deemed a pass. The last prompt is going to focus on explaining the difference between irony and sarcasm, as well as with a couple of examples. We're going to be testing the model's linguistic understanding, as well as the ability to distinguish between similar rhetorical devices. And in this case, we can see that it describes different types of irony, as well as providing a couple of examples for each of the different types of irony. And in the same manner, it does the same for sarcasm. So it does look like a pass from a bird's eye view so in this case it is definitely a pass and overall it was able to succeed in all of these prompts except the coding ones and that is definitely something that i really wanted to point out it shows that the model is definitely great at mathematics as well as for basic logic as well as a chat model this is something that is a great replacement as an open source model that you can use in as an alternative to claude or even open ai's model this is something that you can deploy locally the 72 billion parameter model and it's something that i definitely recommend that you try out now one thing i definitely hope that they improve is the coding capabilities which is something that would definitely enhance this model overall it would make it one of the best models out there if it was capable of doing that but from what they have done so far it's definitely a great model and i definitely recommend that you try it out but with that thought guys i'll leave all the links that i use in today's video in the description below make sure you take a look at this model make sure you follow me on the patreon so that you can access different subscriptions to ai tools completely for free make sure you follow me on twitter a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest ai news and lastly make sure you guys subscribe turn on the notification bell like this video and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest ai news but with that thought guys have an amazing day spread positivity and i'll see you guys fairly shortly peace out fellas